It's a three blind mice gaslands build. Don't go away. Hello friends and welcome to Fat Guy Productions. I am Paul coming to you as always from beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. It feels like it's been a long time since we've had a three blind mice build and probably feels that way because it has been. But today we're going to rectify that with a Gaslands bus build. Now a bus in my humble opinion, is a great choice for this as it offers so many opportunities to be creative. That notwithstanding, I had a creative block, so I kind of stole my concept from my friend and fellow mouse, Lee, aka Time Rider. Sorry, Lee. I loved his idea so much, and I was drawing a blank. So I opted to follow Lee's lead while, of course, making it my own. So with no further ado, here is my three blind mice, Gaslands, bus build. For my build, I'll be using this Zalmex Crown Bus. Now Crown is notorious for making a very distinctive looking vehicle and this bus is no exception. It'll serve very nicely as a base for my build. So to get rolling, I want to cut the rear part of the roof off. Now here is a handy tip. I'm going to use a length of label maker tape to wrap it over the roof and act as an ad hoc straight edge. Once in place, I can mark the roof with a Sharpie. I originally thought I could just use my bench grinder to grind away the roof, but damn, this roof is seriously thick. Epic, epic fail. So I gave up on the grinder and went to my rotary tool. I chucked up a diamond cutting wheel and used it to rid me of the pesky roof. With the roof gone, I can see I need to cut off the backs of the seats. I really need the rear end to be flat here. So I'm going to just take out some nippers and clip them away. I've gone ahead and chucked up a carbide grinding bit in my rotary tool and I'm going to use it to grind off the high spots left behind by the window posts. With the back of the bus starting to look the way I was envisioning it, I can now go ahead and test fit the giant battleship guns. I'll be using to turn my meek and mild bus into my Herkimer Battle Jetney 2. Sort of a, a land based battleship. Okay, so. 
So I need a back for the Battle Jetney. And what better than some of the deck material left over from my Arizona Battleship model build? I'm going to turn to a Adobe Illustrator and after getting a few measurements I can lay out a design that I will end up cutting in my Glowforge. I'm going to design a base for the back and a mount for the guns. I also made a, a wall to fill in where I cut the roof off, but I won't end up using it because it's going to be too thick. Once I'm happy with everything, I'll save my file as an SVG and then I'll open it up in the Glowforge app. With the Glowforge, I'll first cut the parts out of 1 8 inch draft board. It's going to end up being a bit too thick for me, so later I'll recut the parts out of 2 millimeter thick basswood. The Glowforge it just makes quick work out of this, and by taping some of the deck material on top, I can get both the substrate and the deck surfaces all in one pass. I'm back at the bus now and I can remove the masking from my parts and do a quick test fit. This is really working out well. It, it just looks great. This will be undoubtedly the biggest, baddest dog in the fight. That is for sure and for certain. So as I mentioned, the wood wall was just too thick, so I'm using a piece of sheet styrene to make a wall here. I just trace out the profile and I'll actually just cut it right out with some scissors. Now I can go ahead and start with some of the assembly. I'm going to glue in the wall I just made using my Loctite Super Glue Gel Control. I love this stuff. Anyhow, I'll use that and glue that little wall in place and then I can move forward. Again, with my CA, I can now glue on the deck substrate.
I love sanding screens, especially in things like gas lamp builds. And I'm going to be using those to cage off the side windows. I'm just going to trim a small piece to size and then with my CA I'll glue them on. I'm doing this now because I want to paint this as one solid unit. So I don't want to put the gun on until the painting is mostly done because frankly I don't want to mess up the wood deck piece. So I'll assemble the gun parts separately and then I can paint before mounting the gun onto the Jetney. So where did the main gun come from you might ask? Well I downloaded a model on Thingiverse and I printed it in three sizes in my Photon Resin 3D printer. Oddly enough I chose the biggest one I printed thinking it would be my least favorite, but it won me over when I saw it on the bus. I'm intentionally going to brush paint the entire vehicle. I can't imagine a post-apocalyptic world where they're pulling the rigs into big paint booths and such. I picture a bunch of mutants slapping paint on with brushes and rollers. Nothing special. So, I'm going to go for a sort of mutant applied paint job here. I'm going to opt for a light gray flat paint here to give my battle jetney more of a battleship look to it. I'll also paint up the main guns and then set both parts aside to dry. With everything now a light gray, I can go ahead and glue down the deck and then add the big cannons. Man, is this thing looking wicked. So I brush painted the lower sides a semi-gloss black to represent what might have been the waterline and to add a little visual interest. I dug through my leftover decals and I added this decal to the top of the gun and then a ship number to the front of the roof. With just a few photo etch details and a bit of painting, I can really take this build home and my battle jetney is now ready to bust some marauders heads. There can be no doubt in the post-apocalyptic world, seeing this rig coming at you is about a 10 on the pucker scale. So, there it is, my Herkimer Battle Jetney 2. Born from an idea spawned by my friend Lee and fertilized by the movie The Mystery Men. This land ship will clean your clock. It was a ton of fun, and I think it came out great. And mean, mean, mean. If you enjoyed this video, I would be grateful if you would give this a like click subscribe, and click the notification bell. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I really sincerely love to hear from you guys. Please 
Make sure you check out all the amazing and fun rigs of the other builders participating in this three blind mice Gaslands bus build. Well, that's going to do it for today. Remember, in life, you can run with the big dogs or you can sit on the porch and bark. Until next time, this is Paul from Fat Guy Productions saying, be good.